from compared to the other, the Dunban color. The Dunban is the white and black color, usually another green color as well, with black hair. And Charlie starting off game one with surprise Sheik. You know, Charlie kind of doesn't want to give up hope on Sheik yet, but we'll see how things go between him and Shul uh, Nico. I haven't uh, seen much of Charlie Sheik yet, but I'm definitely not going to sleep on it. He played a lot of Sheik in Smash 4. Yeah. I definitely one of the advocates for Sheik, right? He doesn't want to give up on the character just yet. Definitely not giving up on Bayo either, man. Of course, Nico, no strange in the Sheik matchup, having many sets with K9. Definitely. But, yeah, Nico's oh, making it look like another day at, the, uh, day at the office, almost killing him at 40%. <laughs> Clark going to 9 to 5, reading your opponent, man. Getting the Shulk Monados. <laughs> I got him. Yeah, I got him at the ledge, just another day. <laughs> Punch out, man! Collect your money and just call it a call it a day. Sounds like the life for Nico, at least. Yeah. Bear. Oh, almost gonna catch him on the DI, but he's barely gonna live. Uh, surprisingly, going into Buster for the uh, the ledge guarding phase right there. An interesting pick. Thought you might have gone for uh, anything else to maybe even kill. I don't know if he had Smash Art up yet. Alright, there's a Shield Art. Unfortunately, gonna run out. Charlie almost gets the flopping fish. That's what I call it because you know that's a, that's a nerf sheet, man. It's no longer bouncing fish. It's kind of like the flopping fish. I mean, at least the animation looks. Clean. Oh, and that animation looks clean. I don't know what's up with you, Tosi, man. Every time you say something, it happens to be the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> see, there we go. That looked clean. <laughs> We're both just gonna take it back immediately. Just two stocks apiece. Okay, he's going to go stage off. Oh, forward tilt. Yeah. The one thing I like they do visually with the game, especially, is now you can see how many if, if she has uh, needles. Mm -hmm. You can see it in your hands now. It, it does kind of look weird at the when you first see it. Wait a minute, whoa. It looks cool. I'm not going to lie. It's a cool, it's a cool visual uh, addition here. Yeah, they're just really trying to make it so like all the, the chargeable things or things that have time is you, you know how much time you have instead of having to like just guess. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I definitely appreciate that. That's what kind of makes ultimate, you know, ultimate heat. Oh, that backslash coming in so strong, and Charlie facing away. We'll do a little bit more extra knockback if you are facing away from backslash. Yeah, hence the turn back and slash. Yeah. Even Rex has one too. I don't remember the name exactly, but. That's from the back air. Well, I think he wanted to run off and go for back air, and now oh. we have. Oh man, a double roll at the ledge, man. This ain't Smash Four. <laughs> Classic Smash 4. Nigo, Nigo had the read, but I think he kind of got shook. And then it just turned into like, yeah, that spaghetti fest. Oh, that was a F smash. Gotta be careful, man. That range on the F smash. We saw Nico at MSM. Put some grain stuff F smash off the stage. Catch him jumping. Yeah, Nico goes for a lot of these uh, these nares and fairs. The only thing is that it has a bit of startup, and he's catching that too. Hey, Charlie moving in, man. This Sheik nerfed, but not out, man. Charlie putting in work with it. Hey, okay, nice. Nair to down tilt. Nico looking for an empty hop option there, but Charlie immediately calls him out, taking him to the left side of the stage. Almost gets those four tilts. We're going to keep going. It's fast enough. Spot dodge. I'll still have another one out for you. Oh, Nico sees the percent here. 63. He can die if he gets that smash attack. Up he had a shield. Great. And the smash art is now done. It will go into the cooling phase there. Each Smash Monado, I'm sorry, each Shulk Monado art uh, has a different timer for each one. Oh, I, yeah, that makes sense. Different timer, different cooldown periods. Uh, I don't know the exact ones. They're usually like anywhere between 15, I feel like 17 seconds is like the earliest one, all the way to 30 seconds roughly. Wow. I gotta I got double check on that. Nico told me about it. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna ask him about that. That's that's good to know. I did. I thought the uh, the cooldowns wouldn't have been as long, but now that I think about it, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But I'm, Solid balancing, that's what I'm going to say. Oh, that back air, though. I'm not looking balanced at all. That's going to kill. And Captain Charlie trying to go for the shield grab yeah. when he's uh, back to the ledge. That was a great display from Charlie, though. I mean, he was keeping it pretty close between him and Nico. And I really like how Charlie was uh, dealing with Nico. A lot of problems people have against Shulk, when he's swinging at them, they're really just kind of standing in one spot, and then they try to punish the end lag of it. Charlie's running out of place when Nico swings, and then he's punishing the uh, the cooldown of it. Yeah, exactly. So he's getting a lot of damage from that. I feel like you yourself are used to kind of seeing Choke a little bit, right? Because you guys have SD God over there in that region of yours. Yeah. Now, Paul, you want to shout out to you guys. I know you guys are pretty active in the Smash University. You guys got going down there. 
Yeah, we try to. I always get excited when I see you guys, man. It's always it's always sad when I don't see you guys. It's like, oh man, they're not here. Yeah, but you know, now she is here. He's gonna bring us to every tournament. So <laughs> you guys, gonna, he's like, are you gonna stay for midterm? Nah, I'm going to tournament, man. <laughs> what midterm? What midterm? Shoutouts to Shine, of course. This is the finest character in his region. Uh, definitely the best character overall. And best player in his region. Smash 4. What, what was that out against you? Know, Taiwan. Taiwan. I was going to say Taiwan. Yeah. I was You're close, man. I was close. I'm glad you didn't say it. that. Yeah, just... I paused. I was like, hold on. I want to make sure. Yeah, we don't want to get that wrong. But Charlie, take that stock. Reasonably, reasonably low percent right there. Over Nico, this is the lead he wants to have, especially the winner's semis. Of course, going into winner's side, into winner's finals is pretty important here. Probably gonna try to get pulled with the smash out right there. Yeah, just gonna get it right before he, uh, it runs out. Really smart from Nico right there. <laughs> I like how he just sneaks in that laser and the dash does. I like the way that Charlie uses his lasers. Once he hits you off, he'll just sneak in a quick laser. Yeah, that's that. That's honestly how you should be using a uh, laser sometime. Yeah, not as good as they were in, uh, of course, the most famous version of lasers in Smash Melee. But I'm not going to with it. Charlie is, like you said, he's using them pretty often. He sneaks a laser in there, here and there. And just go, oh, that's a tech. Me? Okay. He going to be in trouble here, 125. As opposed to Charlie's early percents, but that was four days. We'll change the pace here. Down, but Nico, uh, Nico can definitely bring this back. He's no stranger to going off stage and edge guarding. Yeah. That's especially uh, something you have to do against Fox. Oh. Shield up air into, you know, he lost his shield, but he was still in that animation, so he got another up air for free and killed off of it. All right. You saw, you see how Nico just gets you off the stage in the corner here. He already puts you at so much disadvantage. Nico sees blood in the water, switches to smash art. Hopefully, he can find an opportunity here, Jumped but Charlie. Jumped out of the F smash. F smash one hit, and he immediately left. I hold with a lot of control, man, and I like the way he's spacing his back because he knows Nico is gonna come in. The patience there, and Yuli's trying to see what Nico's gonna come out. The bear knows up to Perry to give himself a little bit of time to get off the ledge right there. You don't want to go against Choke right there. He has so much he has so much you can do to cover everything there, no matter where you go, he'll have something for you. Yeah, exactly. Okay, finally got that forward air smash R yet again, Nico's second attempt here. I think he grabbed the ledge by accident right there. But still gonna get the back there. Okay, Charlie holding that shield there, but Nico able to get the grab. Great change from the forward to back air. It's gonna get up a little here, but Charlie was already ready to call out with a smash. Right now, I think Charlie's uh, starting to get a little anxious for this kill right now. He's not shielding as many things as he usually is. But now he's going on the offensive, and this is where Fox would be really scary. Yep. Oh, gets the back hit of Nair here. Yeah, Nico, Nico going off, trying to throw it all there. You definitely have to go for that. He's down. He needs to make sure he gets a chance to end Charlie's stock. Well, that was scary at the platform, too. Smash! All right. This is, this is, where, it, this is where it happens. <laughs> we have Ian in the background. just kind of feeling how that's going to play out now. Oh, no. We'll jab. He was in Smash. Someone was going to die. Yeah, somebody was dying, man. Oh, and there it is. Charlie takes... Game two was that back air. It's so scary. Yeah. Fox throw out these back airs so fast. I'm like, I need to find a way around it or else he's going to shield pro. And then the second you do it, either hit you with one or hit you with an S master. You're like, you just feel so dumb. You're like, I I can't believe that happened. It happened. Yeah. I knew it was going to happen too. The one thing I like about Charlie doing those back airs too is he didn't retreating back airs, right? He would come towards center stage with back air, trying to see how Nico's going to come on the stage. He likes to come a little bit aggressive with those neutral airs, those forward airs. So Charlie doing retreating back air was a great option because not only does he read the jump option that Nico might be going for, but he also comes back towards center stage and takes control of the stage when Nico manages to come back. Let's go to game three here. Pretty crucial game in the turning point, of course. Winner semis and loser semis. All semis and on our best of five, for those of you wondering. Yeah, but he didn't. He got that Buster Rod uh, combo. He got so much damage from it. He's gonna jump hard. Oh, oh, falling out with the fair. Wow. Quick landing, man. He did not want to get hit by an up, up tilt or an up air. He decided his turn was now. Oh, fortunately, the downer not gonna spike. He's gonna have another chance. Not gonna. Get the jump down right, but that was such a tricky position for him to be in. Would have had to, it was so much he would have had to do to maybe get that stock, so it probably wasn't even worth it to try to go for it. I'll throw out, I like that option from Charlie. I like that he went for the public to annoying when Shield Monado Art was active. Ooh, 
great tech on the shine too. Brandon nice. has I'll be at a shield, kind of solves his back air as a troll he's been famous for so far. And there's the punish! He's not going to drop that at all, he's kind of waited for a second. He's really thinking about what he wanted to do and decided, yep, alright, we're going to go for the, uh, the F smash. Alright, like that empty hop from Nico comes in with neutral air. But Charlie not going to give up the damage here. Shield art though, going to be going away. One back air from Charlie will definitely do some serious damage and will probably take the stock. You can kind of understand how that one will play out. Gets him off the stage with the forward and he goes his blood in the water. Wow, oh, whoa, wait a minute. That might have actually killed with that much rage. I can't. How did I not hit? That was crazy. But he angled it like upward, like, like a 45 degree angle, so he didn't hit him. If he actually angled it downward or forward, it would be fine. Fire. Nico trying to do it downward to close out that stock. Not gonna miss. Charlie's still doing a good job, but he needs to take out this stock. Nico is racking on the damage fast. He's going into Buster. Yeah. He, he's getting the extra credit right now. He's putting in the work. And turning his thesis paper decided, man, hey man, I'm going to write that five-page report. So that goes through that side B coming in. Of course. I don't think I can kill yet. Oh, I've been ah, wrong. You, you've been wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice. Control. Dash dancing there. Trying to read Nico where he's going to come. Charlie. It looks like he needs to bring something back, and he's he's going. Yeah, this momentum here for Charlie is not going to give up. Charlie definitely momentum, not as momentum based as we've seen, but he's definitely not afraid to come back. He knows like what he needs to do. He definitely usually has the mindset. Yeah, once he starts turning, oh. wow, get him out of there. But yeah, but once Charlie kind of like turns it on, like snaps, like that's when he starts getting scary. He goes so fast, and it's like I don't know what's happening. Yeah, Charlie's advantage is a pretty scary advantage. Oh, but that shield are in the nick of time for Nico. It's a third free stock there. I agree. Reading that uh, roll gets for about four up tilts in a row because of shield art. I like how Nico's kind of spacing these air aerials because he knows not Charlie might go in for the champ combo. Dash attack up tilt up air. Pretty classic. Oh, and there's the back air there. Great. great. Yeah, great mix up uh, right there. Usually we thought everyone thought he was going to go for the up air. Nico, Nico's looking to close this out right now. He's going, going into Smash Art. Charlie at 66. If he gets a forward Smash Art, good read. Might have had the opportunity, but Charlie able to use those aerial back airs. I, I like the idea. He definitely decided like if he's gonna back air me and I get this counter, he's gonna die. I'm in Smash Art. It's gonna be over. Unfortunately, Charlie was a little too patient for him right there. Yeah. Nico so far looking for spacing here. Gets Charlie off the stage with the back air. I did shield poke. Up tilts him, tries to give him the, the quick one up arm. Oh, and, and from way below. Oh, there, man, a full swing of the sword. Going below the stage. No, you don't even need to go down there, just quick result. there. Get him out of there. Nico going up 2 1 now. You can't really. I'm, one of the things I wanted to quickly say, just to, I know, off topic. The Monado, the Monado sword, one, hands down, like, top five best swords of all of like, the game history. In my opinion. Yeah, like, I don't think sword. there's a lot who, like, disagree. Yeah. This is a cool looking sword, man. I'm not gonna lie. Cool looking sword. Really powerful. Yeah. Alright, no spoilers into Zombie Chronicles about what, how the sword works, but or what its true purpose is. But we'll go into more of this game here, that's what we're looking for. The true purpose of Nico here. Trying to win another local, but first he's gotta find one more game against Charlie being 2 1. Pretty, uh, pretty much set point for Nico. Charlie has to fight his way a little bit further. And of course, stage picks will matter, but of course, PS2 is the closet here. Yeah, I believe we've had every game on PS2 now. Yeah. Kind of like the new Smash Bros. Oh, almost got that down here. That was a really scary situation for Charlie. Had to go down there super low in uh, Firefox. It's a cancel, up B. Oh, that was there. close, man. You even saw the critical hit on that one. Oh, oh wow, bro. Wow. That second hit hit, and he got deleted. Yeah. Oh, but now, right now, Charlie has a bit of an up air combo. Going into shield, I don't want to get hit anymore. He dropped like a rock. Hey, Charlie, a little bit dash dancing here at the ledge. Looking, picking and choosing, you know what? Hey, what's Nico's response? What's the M like here? Where is my opening? Different change from Charlie last time we saw him do dash dancing. Not using lasers as much, but as I say, I stand correct in there. Charlie kind of pulls it out. Now Nico, uh, Nico's really going, and he's found his stride. He's making sure he's hitting that Charlie at every point. Oh, and great up smash from Charlie. 
Solid pressure from Nico though. Gave up the neutral air yet again. Came out to the platform. Like he's just running to wherever Charlie's at. He's not giving him a chance to like breathe and think about what he needs to do. As I say that, he does get opened up a little bit. Yeah. It's thirty percent for for B and B combo. Yeah, being in Buster Monado R is not a good option there. All right, switching the shield though, and immediately exit into neutral art. Oh wow, great call out right there. A lot of a lot of the deciding factors has been when both of these players get each other on the ledge. They're both really great at ledge trapping. Kind of yeah. one of the things they're known for. Nico's so used to things. Uh, Shulk and Smash Four. Gonna go for a dare. Oh, oh what a what a what call out! He tried it too. He knew. Instead of waiting for Nico to land to start his offense, he actually started with a falling up air. Down throw or a forward throw? Not gonna do it. Nico a little bit behind here gets it down and he does. We're gonna poke right through there. Get him out of there. We're gonna even it back up to one and one apiece, but Charlie is on his winner side stock. If he loses this, if he gives Nico that chance to come back and he brings it back, Charlie will fall down to losers. Dash attack. Shield on Charlie though, able to get the punish there. It's side B almost gets the back end. So close to getting hit by that. Up smash the again. Smash. Oh, another turn there, but Nico managed to narrowly dodge it, pushing Charlie into the ledge here. Can he get the ledge guard? But Charlie swings the up smash, man. As soon as he touches the shield, no, get off me. Oh, oh yeah. It's looking like the. No, I was going to say, oh, like a uh, flash kick. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the whole crouch flash kick and just die. I was like, oh, come on, man. That's what I felt like, flash kick from Dial. Shouts to all my uh, Street Fighter fans out there. All right, we're going to run it right on back to PS2. That's all five games here now. I low-key actually won Guile in Smash Ultimate. Uh, that would be crazy. I mean, Ken is like one, definitely the honest fit. Yeah, that's, uh, that was a natural idea. But yeah, Guile would have been, been a fun option. Stands there and flash kick every time <laughs> we try, man. Po approaches the Sonic Boom, like pretty much the iteration of Street Fighter V. Oh, we'll come out here with the non street fire. This is Smash Ultimate. So far, game five for Charlie. Great percent. Wow. Immediately opening up the gates to the damage. Oh, man, both players just trading in there for there. <laughs> kind of <laughs> on each other's shield. Looking for an opening. Charlie is just poking. He's, he doesn't need to just throw himself at Nico. He's got so much percent. Oh, hands down. Nico's the one who's going to catch up game. And he almost gets the upper, but Nico switched the shield out in the nick of time. Yeah. Shield art, real talk, feels like uh, plot armor. Oh, I'm not definitely. gonna lie, that's, that's plot armor, that's anime plot armor. Well, it's plot armor, like, especially it was, uh, it was when Zero Suit up B Shulk and then he immediately switches the shield before it hits. Oh, so yeah. So he just drops yeah. like a rock. That's plot armor. <laughs> People forget, man, Shulk was kind of like the original cloud of the game. That was hot. He was like the designated, like, big swordsman, anime like character. Yeah, anime hair. Yeah, anime hair, big sword. RPG, <laughs> you know, a JRPG, but Nico clutching out. Nico get that out. first stock, too. Jump. Oh, man. Right. They also smash, it'll find you. Definitely found Nico for sure. Don't put an address in, it'll still find you. It has its ways. <laughs> I do like how every time Charlie's getting a... Uh, is doing these up tilts on Nico. He immediately goes into shield. He doesn't need to. He doesn't want to take all this percent. Yeah. And it's just really hard because at that low percent, what can Fox do that has enough knockback to really start so juggling? Big for Charlie because all Nico was looking for is to escape from the up tilts, and Charlie just chased him down with dash attack. Big damage here. Almost gets hit by the up smash. Oh, there's don't the touch call out. Don't come near my shield. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Oh, Nico moves the chair backward. He's moving in all range mode here. He's yeah. serious now. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie's heating up. So is Nico. Nico a little bit far behind here, but he managed to get a couple trades here, put him off the stage. Double dash attack. Good oh, I like counter. That. I like it. Wasn't even looking for the hit. Just didn't want to get hit again. Yeah, Charlie actually could have had a really good punish, but he didn't know the end lag on it. And so he kind of was hesitant. And during that, he wasn't able to get a hit in. Right now, Nico's got him off stage. He oh, has to so go close. for it. You kind of even saw the phantom hit on that one, too. You gotta go for oh, it. No, no, he air dodged up. And the that soft looked, hit from down there. Yeah, yeah that, that looked buffered. 
So, Nico, another breath of fresh air. All right, this is how it starts. She's got to go for it. Oh, oh no. Okay, I was going to say, Charlie, don't go out like that. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yeah, Nico was looking to end it right there. That was so that was so good for him, too. This is literally the final fate form of the boss, right? Like, you brought him down to the last break, right? He's like, hey, you've yet to fight my true form. This is Nico right here. Final form, Nico. This is the plot armor, Nico. He's going to get a hard read right now, and he's just going to win. He's got to be patient, though, Charlie, back on the stage. Going to shield. That is the oh, he went on. Oh, he went on to stage two. Charlie didn't think he was gonna go. I don't think Nico thought he was gonna go too. <gasps> oh, he, oh, he missed the forward smash. All right, he's off stage. He's got to go for something. He got off. Oh no, oh, he, he gets the hit. wrong train. But he's gonna live this. Oh, okay, both hits back. <laughs> both hits up B. Bro, he, he, he just barely got on there. He's not leaving. Oh. Okay. Nico, look close. how close he's. They're both to the screen. They know how close this is. One mistake and it's over. Yeah. One, oh, oh that was a hard read. Why would? That's a bit of a commitment. We're not you seen that. You got to go down there. Okay, not going down. Fair's not. Oh, gonna and he fired it and he hits it. Nico clutching up that last game, game five. So close. Charlie is not happy about no, that dude. one. That was all his. That was that was really that was really his game, dude. Yeah, that Charlie, was really his game, man. Charlie letting out some emotion.